and these toys reviews. Please here with me. Okay. And today we'll be reviewing 7-7. Seven, seven. So, if you guys don't know who 7-7 seven, seven is, he's a bounty hunter, one of the bad guys in Ben 10, and his head could go 360. I'm not going to bend him around too much because his leg is a little bit loose right there, but he does bend at the elbows right there, and he does come with this nice looking gun or laser or blaster, whatever you want to call it, thing of the and his arm could also go 360 and it could go up and down. And he does come with a jetpack. And yeah, there's pretty much nothing else to say about this figure, but the detail wise on his face is nice, really nice. So let's compare him to some other figures that we have. I'll just get Alien X. Let's see how tall he is. Yeah, I think they're about the same height. Let's check. Oh. Let's check. Um, maybe up Chuck. Yeah, up Chuck's way smaller. Don't fire next to seven seven. And yes, they are the same height because they're four inch action figures. So that's pretty cool compared to Wrath. Whoops, nudged him a little bit. Wrath. A little bit taller, I would say, in my opinion. But yeah, they both look really nice together. Also, another thing to mention, the backpack can come off. It is removable, but I'm not going to take it off because it's really hard to put, to put back on. And I like these spikes coming out from his backpack. It, it really looks like he just jumped out right from the sh show and cartoon. And he could point this blast at you, and he's going to shoot you guys. So, yeah, th this figure I really recommend getting for a Ben 10 collection if you're a Ben 10 fan. Oh. I honestly wish his leg wasn't that loose, because that just caused him to fall over, obviously. But yeah, the legs does move back and forth, and there's a little bit of knee bending. But yeah, that'll be it for, to say for this figure. Guys, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.